Okay, today I'm going to talk about the uh, Give Energy Cloud service. <clears throat> so this is a home assistant integration that talks to the Give Energy Cloud, um, allows you to integrate it to, um, to home assistant this way. There is already a local integration called Give TCP, which is um, a bit more comprehensive um, and obviously gives you a lot faster data updates because it's local monitoring, but obviously it means it has to be local on your network. Um, and some people have experienced some issues with that, with fallouts and, and everything. This um, cloud integration talks to the official Give Energy API, so obviously in terms of the stability, the API may be a bit better. Um, so it's pretty simple to install. You have to use hacks to download the, um, uh, the integration, uh, and then you can... Um, and then you can just add it and all you need to do is add your API key. It's relatively um, trivial to do that. You just take your API key from the Give Energy um, Cloud login um, and put that in there. Uh, and then what will happen is that it will all um, show up um, as entities. I've added them all mine to a collapsible card, which is essentially, um, um, it's quite a nice, um, uh, a little um, front-end integration here that I um, downloaded the collapsible cards and I essentially just said everything with GE inverter in it and my inverter number to put onto this card and, and so I've just got it all here but you can obviously add them manually so you can see when it's running you'll get the charge start and end time the AC charge enable the upper limit um, you get all the statistics about battery charging power and charge today and charge total, <clears throat> the um, cutoff limits, um, and um, discharge power percentage, <clears throat> um, battery amount discharge today, discharge total, current battery power. Um, you can see these totals incrementing. One thing you'll notice is that it's only updating every five minutes. That's all the, that's how regularly the, the cloud seems to give you data. Even though this polling every minute is only getting every five, but some people find they might get more frequent data. I think it might depend on the system. Obviously, it's got your battery size here and state of charge, battery temperature. Uh, you can see mine was getting a bit hotter when the solar was running. Um, total consumption today, um, discharge slots, um, and obviously the enabling, um, the various enables here. Um, a little bit odd that my eco mode showing us off um, from one minute ago. So I'll look at that afterwards. Um, and you can see um, grid voltage here, that's useful. Um, inverter power. The current time on the inverters, this was last time it was updated six minutes ago. Um, Pause slots. I don't think my firmware actually has this for some reason. It seems to expose the register, but I don't think these ones actually work. Um, and then newer updates here on the solar power for string one and two, and the current and the voltage you can also see. Um, so it's pretty much the same thing that the cloud has the information on just presented here in Home Assistant. And you can use it to integrate into tools like PredBat. It's now got a conf an option for that. Um, so hopefully you find it useful and um, obviously feel free to report any issues here by just raising a ticket um, and obviously try and have a look at them. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.